On March 31st, 2019, rapper and entrepreneur Nipsey Hussle was gunned down in front of his apparel store, the Marathon Clothing. On April 2nd, Nipsey Hussle fans gathered at Morris Brown College, one of the few HBCUs to be founded by black people. The Film Culture News got to talk with the people about Nipsey's legacy, how we need to unify, owning our own businesses, and how we continue his marathon. Students across the AUC have come here today for the balloon release for the one and the only Nipsey Hussle. Let's see what they have to say. He was like a brother to everybody at Crenshaw and more than just Crenshaw to LA. Like, so that's what he meant to me and to a lot of my friends that work with him, that's around him, that's in his shop right now as we speak. You know what I'm saying? So I know I can feel that pain very much. That was like my inspiration, bro. That was like my idol. Meek Mill, Nipsey Hussle, them, them is the two dudes that really keep me motivated every day. I listen to Nipsey Hussle music every single day. Like every day I wake up, that's the first thing I'm playing. You feel me? So, when he died, it, it really made an impact on me, you feel me? It made me cry and all that, like, for real. Nipsey, to me, essentially, was more than a rapper. He was a role model. Uh, somebody that everybody from, you know, South Central Los Angeles looked up to. Um, just to, you know, lock arms instead of fighting with each other, but to uplift the community. Like, he always told us, buy back the community so you wouldn't have to work with nobody else. How do we, as a people, continue the marathon? entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? We gotta make our own businesses. We cannot be over here making these, I don't wanna be like that, white people. We working for their businesses, and you know what I'm saying? We over here trying to make their dreams come true. We need to make our dreams come true for ourselves as black people. So to have his name out there, his like his legacy, we more, we more so need to focus on us. His death has affected our community. Um. In terms of the black community as a whole, yes. I would like to say that it's it's definitely a wake-up call that we can't just rely on one person to lead us all, but we have to come together as a collective. Give your all into everything you do, whether that be small, or whether it be big, whatever it is, just make sure you give it to everything. Always remember what you're doing it for. Do you have any advice for the youth on how we could get better on owning things and so we can create generational wealth for ourselves? Sure. Well, I would always say it starts with education, finding a mentor. Um, just continue to educate yourself and get all the valuable tools that you need to be successful in life. And we can't just be over here working for the white people because we live in their dreams. We need to live for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We need to take that and move on and do what he's doing all around, not just in L.A., out here. Wherever, wherever we land, we need to make it our own because if we don't, we're going to keep just living out the white people, white American dream. So, you know what I'm saying? We just need to live that legacy and just be some entrepreneurs. We need to have our own businesses, for real. Get our own money, our black dollars. For real, for real. Create yeah. a generational wealth. Create a generational wealth, and that's the best thing we can do for us, for real. I, we, we have to align our goals, for sure. But we, we have to we have to start where he finished in LA, but spread it throughout the United States as a whole. You got anything else to say? Man, rest in peace, Nick. You know what I'm saying? You know, we forever with you. We forever love you. It was never just love because you was dead. We always loved you. We always was here for you. We was always following behind you, or on the side of you. You know what I'm saying? You know. I give condolences to his wife, his kids, you know what I'm saying, his brothers, you know what I'm saying, his homies from the hood, because they matter too, they helped him, they were there for him. Hustle and motivate. Hustle means to never give up. And motivate. He wanted to motivate us, his people, to look out for one another and to support one another and that the energy will always come back to us, no matter what. Rest in peace, Nipsey. Much love.